Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Lico LE2 with me and in this video we will be doing the gaming review. And uh, this uh, Lico LE2 comes with the new Snapdragon 652 uh, SoC. Again, this uh, CPU Z does not show it correctly, but it's a uh, 652 because uh, 650 is a six core processor and 652 is an octa core, as you can see, CPU zero from uh, CPU seven. And uh, the powerful quad core is based on the ARM Cortex A72 architecture and the other is at the A53. And moving towards the GPU, it has the Adreno, 510 GPU and comes with three gigabytes of RAM. So let's see how it does in gaming. I'll clear up everything. And uh, we'll start with this sort of uh, casual game called Unkilled and then move to heavy games. So this is Unkilled, you just shoot the zombies. It's a simple game. And as you can see, it's running it without any issues. And I don't think so this game should be a problem for this device. And as you can see it's running at really well. Without any issues whatsoever. So let's do one thing. Let's get out of this game. And let's move to some heavier games now. For example, uh, let's just kill this off. And now let's move to uh, Dungeon Hunter 5. And this is a heavy game. So this is Dungeon Hunter 5. And as you can see it's handling it fine. As you can see, it's handling it without any issues. And I see no lag, at least on this game. It's running it really well. Uh, those, though the speaker is only on this end, this is not the speaker. It's uh, adequately loud, I would say. So as you can see, it's playing this game without any issues. So you shouldn't have any problems playing even this uh, game that is known as Dungeon Hunter. So this is as far as 8 and I have uh, set the graphics settings to high and I'm using the on-screen steering so let's see how it handles it. And we'll also be checking the temperatures after finishing this level to see if it exhibits any heating issues. It's getting slightly warm I would say but not uh, anything that is worrying as of now. With two takedowns and surprisingly it's handling this asphalt 8 very well actually to be frank uh, better than that uh, what I expected And as you can see, it's running it really well. As you can see, the car is in complete control. And as you can see, it's running it really well. And it's playing it without any lagginess. So let me do one thing. Let's just uh, look at the temperatures because it's been 12 minutes since we were gaming. And then move to NOAA 3. And by the way, the ambient temperature is about 27.5. 
and here it's about 40 degrees uh, Celsius uh, uh, around the screen as you can see about ranging from 40.6 40.7 to about 39 let's look at the back it's aluminium back and again here it's also about 40 ish uh, that it is touching so this is Nova 3 and let's see how it handles this one oh there is some lag but let's continue and see let's go here and see let's lock the grenade As you can see the choppiness and break, breaking in the audio, severe lag. So this game has some issues with, as you can see, audio is breaking. This is really strange because even the audio is breaking if you notice. This much uh, lagginess I haven't seen on uh, Nova 3 lately. So this level is finished but uh, you did notice that uh, the audio was breaking quite a bit uh, in, the, in the middle and it was sort of dropping also frames which was very surprising let's look at the temperatures now it's about uh, 39.7 and 40 is what we are noticing so that's the max that we are noticing around the screen 40 ish let's look at the back and this is about 39 ish it feels a little bit warm because it's aluminium but as you can see the temperatures are not uh, going uh, very high 40.5 was the max that i noticed uh, with asphalt if i recall so as you can see it's not heating up that much but again we did notice quite a bit of uh, lag uh, especially with uh, nova 3 though it ran asphalt 8 without any issues so the gaming performance was sort of mixed after seeing the performance of asphalt 8 I, I thought that it would play even Nova 3 without any issues, but we did notice some lagginess on uh, Nova 3 and even the audio was breaking a little bit. So the gaming, uh, what do you say, experience is sort of mixed. And this is what I, I also experienced with Redmi Note 3, which has the Snapdragon 650 SoC. That also exhibited some lag with Nova 3 and uh, what do you say, Asphalt 8. So it might be the issue with the Adreno 510 uh, GPU that is not optimized for these games. But anyways, yes, with uh, Nova 3, it did exhibit a little bit of lagging. I have also posted other videos on this LE2. Just check out the YouTube show notes for more info regarding the same. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.